welcome back to Starfield Wiki, home for everything Starfield. Spoilers ahead. The mission Entangled towards the end of the game is one of the coolest and the creepiest missions in Starfield. The player finds themselves shifting between two entangled parallel universes with alternate realities. One where the research facility is in ruins due to an accident where everyone but the NPC Rafael Aguero survives, and the other universe where everyone survives but Rafael does not make it due to his sacrifice. Towards the end of this mission, the game gives you two primary choices. To either save Raphael and doom the rest, or save the lives of everyone else instead of Raphael. The typical trolley problem thought experiment. The choice you make determines which universe becomes your reality. There is however a third secret solution where you can save everyone, including Raphael. It is a fairly complicated process but follow along as guided and it should all work out. Proceed as normal until the end of this fairly long mission. Shifting between universes to traverse your way through each time a path is blocked in one universe and work your way through until the end where you reach the large laboratory with the accelerator. You will know when you are there when you notice a large group of enemies, many highlighted switches, along with an artifact being experimented on with what looks like a particle beam accelerator apparatus. First and foremost, do not touch any of the switches. Kill all the enemies in both universes, shifting between each other using the nearby distortion portals. Next up, in the undamaged universe, in the corner at the back, under the staircase to the control room, you will find the dead body of Raphael. Collect the probe calibration protocol slate from him. This is the degaussing method. No need to read all of that as it may confuse you further, so just follow the steps in this video. Just above Raphael is the staircase to the control room which contains the lab control computer, which you will need to start the procedure. Keep in mind, if the pathway to this room is blocked in the undamaged universe, just use any portals to access this room normally via the damaged universe. You will have to use the degaussing method in both universes. Do it one after the other. So, pick any universe and access the computer and without clicking on anything else, pick degaussing method. After which you will be given a set of numbers. These are the respective numbers of the switches in the correct order you have to activate. The numbers may be different in your game, but not to worry, the process is still the same. Go to the main large room and without clicking, hover the crosshair over the switches so it tells you which switch number it is. Find the switch corresponding to the first number in your set of numbers. Click the switch. Wait a second so it registers, then click it again. Repeat the process for the other switches going along in the correct order of your set of numbers. After you've finished your set of numbers, return to the computer and click on degaussing again to confirm that it is indeed complete. Change the universe and repeat this process again. Keep in mind that the door in the control room for the undamaged universe may be blocked so you will have to shift to the damaged universe and then back again each time you want to go through. Go to the computer and initiate degaussing to get your set of numbers, then find the respective switches in order. Click the switch, wait a second for it to register, then click again to return it to its previous state. Complete this second set and return to the computer to confirm by selecting degaussing that it is indeed complete. Now that you have degaussed in both universes, you can access frequency calibration in both universes. In the undamaged world, scroll down and select 40 GHz. Do nothing else and now go to the damaged universe. Here, click on frequency calibration again and now select 24 GHz. Upon doing so, your quest objective will now refresh and you will have a brand new objective. It will ask you to activate primary calibration by pressing the button near the artifact. Proceed to do that in both universes. Upon activation of the button in the second universe, you will shift multiple times between alternate realities as the damaged universe propels you and Raphael both into the undamaged universe. You 
will find yourself waking up in the infirmary of the facility and be greeted by everyone including Raphael from the other universe, next to the dead body of Raphael from this universe. You will receive the legendary spacesuit and helmet reward for saving everyone and will still be able to recruit Raphael as a companion. Literally the best of both worlds. I suppose one of the solutions to the trolley problem thought experiment ethical dilemma is having the ability to shift between alternate realities and save everyone involved. That concludes this video, hope it was useful. Like and subscribe to Starfield Wiki, home for everything Starfield.